We are following developing news from just uh, west and north of the valley. Heavy rain along the Rio Grande impacting the Zapata area. Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing is in San Ignacio with the latest. Yeah, this is the loading ramp for boats in San Ignacio between Laredo and Zapata. And I was actually here on Sunday and on my phone, I got a panoramic photo of what it looked like. I was a lot closer to the edge of the river at the time and there was a border patrol unit and the water was just a lot calmer and it didn't take up as much room. Now I'm about 50 feet closer to town. And one thing about this, you can see just how quickly the water is rushing and it's rushing towards Falcon Dam where Zapata sits. And in Zapata, all this water is both a blessing and a concern. The water is rushing down on Falcon Dam. It's the last defense between Laredo floodwaters and our homes in the valley. Fire Chief Juan Mesa is concerned about one neighborhood in particular. It pushes water this way. The Arroyo Salado is a Mexican river that's also bringing fast moving water. It's got to make a turn towards the dam and that's when it pushes the water towards town. Right now the situation is okay. The dam can handle the rise. In fact, the lake was sitting at 21% capacity till now. The local utility was having trouble with the dry conditions. As, as the water's going down, they have to move their pumps, extend their lines, extend their electrical wiring. To show you how high it's gotten, here's a photo of the lake from August. As a point of reference, look at this concrete lip on the loading dock. We're gonna go look for that right now. Still on the concrete dock. Right here I'm off it. Now I'm back on it. And I still feel it under my feet. I'm barely touching the floor and I still feel it. And this is about five feet. This is what the chief says the lake has gained in the last couple days. That concrete ledge we couldn't find today, well above water a month ago. For James Bendeley, a fishing shop owner, he also sees this change as a benefit. We pretty much depend on the lake for the survival of hell, the motels, uh, us, of course, the tackle stores and restaurants, everybody in town. He says the economy centered around the black bass suffered with low water levels for the past two years. Baby fish didn't make it to adulthood. There's no real thick cover for young fish and baby fish to flourish in. He says now that'll change. Both men are looking forward to the benefits of this rushing water. This water tonight continues rushing towards Falcon Dam. Chief Mesa says that he's going to keep an eye more importantly on Arroyo Salado, the tributary that comes from Mexico, as it could continue affecting Falcon Dam. And James Bendeley, the fisherman, says that he's looking forward to a fishing outing this weekend. In San Ignacio, Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News at 6.